Well, guys, the chain reaction that we expected and we talk about for the last couple of days is happening. Fourth company straight in a row is trying to go after the short sellers. Look at this. Mullen stock. New petition calls for Mullen to fight short sellers like Genius Group. What else could I say, guys? People are angry. People are pissed off. People want to get their money out with a huge profit. And the biggest difference over here, guys, is that this time around the power is not in individual investors like back in January 2021. This time the power is in the CEOs of these companies and they're the one that should consider taking action towards this. According to the petition, 35.8 million shares of Mullen stock failed to be delivered this month alone. And people invested in AMC and GameStop long time ago are already familiar with the numbers of failed to deliver and how they are actually exponentially increasing on a monthly basis, which someone could say that are indicator for naked short selling. As you can see over here, shareholders of Mullen have already created a petition and this petition was already signed over 2300 signatures. And this stock is down only 15% year to date. Right? It's not like some crazy, you know, 60, 70, 80% year to date in comparison with some of the other short squeeze plays. And very interesting, they break everything down for you in the article. As you can see over here, in the example of shorting a stock, it can occur when the short sellers doesn't own all or any of the shares at the time of the settlement. They might not have single share, but they have a short position on the stock, creating this artificial selling pressure. As you can see over here, this potentially could result in the creation of phantom shares, which may lower the price further down the road. This particular stock is down only 15% year to date. They are so lucky in my opinion, guys. The interesting part over here is that if you go back to the example with GNS stock, uh, the stock was trading around $36, falling down to $0.50. Cents. This is how uh, you know the expectations and the suspicious activity around the trading of the stock you know, brought all this uh, FBI team to go after the short sellers, trying to find out something behind it. Because from $30 down to $0.50, cents, well, guys, that's unbelievable. Uh, you, you essentially bring a stock from, you know, uh, mid-range down to penny stock levels. And it's not only these guys, because according to the article from Investor Place, there is another company who have done the exact same thing over here. Today, Helbis announced a similar measure, stating that it will create a comprehensive action plan to investigate illegal short-selling practices. Yesterday, guys, I mentioned that I don't see the future of some of these aggressive short sellers on the market using any kind of strategies and tactics keep working in the future. Because if we start seeing that this practice will give some results, because if it's just one company creating, uh, you know, special team to fight the short sellers uh, and using some illegal strategies, you know, it won't be any effect. They're most likely going to lose if they're not capable to collect enough evidences. But if you have each and every company which uh, stock lost, let's say, 30, 40, 50 percent without any negative catalyst, without any reason, the stock keeps declining. And these people start investigation, build task forces, you know, hire professionals. And the slim part over here, I believe, is that you only need one company to build a case, win the case and, you know, expose some of these activities on the market. This will create a reverse chain reaction all the way down to each and every short seller. Then just think about everyone in the industry who has done things that this one has exposed, that has been done. They will be running away from their short position. They will be trying to, you know, erase each and every uh, tracks that they left. So they will be covering and closing each and every position, like simultaneously. If they see that one firm that is doing what they have done is exposed, is investigated and is essentially found guilty. Unbelievable. So this is why, guys, you want to pay very close attention to these companies that are taking, you know, actions against short selling on their companies. Because like I said, one news, one company found guilty could change the game forever. Not only for, for the short sellers, but could change the game for companies who are shorted like crazy. So this is why we need to follow up with this and we, we got to expect and hope that they will find something. I know prior people were creating petitions about uh, SEC, people were creating petitions about, you know, AMC, share count, and GameStop, and, and this and that. It didn't work out well. 
Well, I don't know how the Mullen management will act, but if they see that, you know, majority of the shareholders want this, it's interesting to see how they're going to approach this idea. Uh, we haven't heard anything from Adam Meran or from Ryan Cohen. This is another thing that you want to follow up with. Because if you see more and more companies doing so, I don't think there is a reason for GameStop and AMC to not try to, to, to consider some actions against the short selling on the market. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Let me know <laughs> which company is next to announce a very good, interesting and potentially helpful for the markets task force against short selling.